What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be taking on the ancient altar and you know we're seven weeks into the game now and we're already one king hell um so if we go to milestones and you can see here you need to get 63 mil and above and then that will be a one key and then we can start to use every single or i say key tickets uh, we can use our tickets on every single floor to get max rewards um, so we have a look at what we're getting and there are some juicy juicy rewards in here so we're getting six to eight limited recruitment cards then we're getting uh, gene hybrid shards and you get eight of those and if we get 60 well when you get 60 we can use those to upgrade our triple s heroes um, and we're also getting some legendary gear as well um, abundant and gluttony are my favorite out of those so that's great as well and then if you go down, um, we lose the gene hybrid, but we'll get some runes and runes are awesome in this game. Um, so obviously great to max those out as well. And then we're getting less limited recruitment cards, but still getting some, still getting runes and limited recruitment cards, still getting uh, limited recruitment cards and then elite runes as well. And to be fair, even elite runes are pretty solid as well. So great that we're getting all that. And then novice, you're just getting trash. But, um, you know, it's better to get something rather than nothing. So I'm not going to complain. So if we go, actually, were we in hell? Let's go back. Just make sure. Yeah, we're on hell. Okay, so we're in hell. And if we go to team one, come down, we're reversing the demon vanguard. And he summons um, hell spawns. That's why we need to use energy heroes who will basically help us kill those to kill the boss. Um, so we're using Orthan, um, Ravenna, Lyran, Carmor, and then uh, Falva. Um, and yeah, so pretty easy. Just, you know, use three energy heroes. Um, I will show you the builds afterwards for each single team. Um, but I guess the other thing as well is that what you need to think here is that every hero was around 220 so I've, I've progressed a little bit further since i actually did this but 220 is more than enough so as long as every hero is like 219 to 220 you'll be able to clear this so if we go to team two now we're taking on the demon uh supplicant and basically we she just does a shield does some damage to us um, and she prioritizes summons that's why we need to bring in summoners so anpu obviously god tier and it's easy to get loads of copies of him uh jacks you know as soon as you can get him there um, there'll be events that come up and you can grab a copy of him grab one copy and then chuck gene shards into him um uh, sorry gene hybrids into him just such a boss um yeah just you just need to do it just do it guys um yeah then we've got samuel he can literally be replaced by anyone just any damage dealer um is a great option hercules again awesome tank but any tank can replace him and then we've got miranda as our healer great healer again anyone can fill that role and then we've got the big boss and actually just to mention as well that so each of these bosses the more damage you do to them um, the easier the last boss will be and his name is destroyer quinta so then it just then all we need to use is single target damage heroes so okay this team is a little bit whaley um, obviously vengus serena and botmark are great and you know free to play accessible coraxia and um, hemdol okay maybe you know a little bit pay to win but they are both easily replaceable as well. Just any solid damage healers that are single target can fill those role, uh, roles. I guess it's great to have a Vanguard hero in here though, because they're tanky, they can do loads of damage. And then great to have like an assassin just to obviously do loads of damage to the boss as well. And I almost forgot to mention the commander. So let me show you the commanders and prototypes that we're using. There we go. So we're using, obviously, Grace is great for energy heroes. So we're going to use Grace. Uh, then we're using Orb of Domination. Uh, then we're using Dominate on the tank. And then Scholar's Monument for the support. Then we've got Enlightenment, which actually I can change to um, 
discard right now. Uh, we don't need the Kung Fu Panda. Discard is just a slight upgrade, and um, that's level 40, level 45, so it makes sense to just have that upgrade. Uh, Impulse of Annihilation, obviously this is mythical. Um, if you don't have mythical, Prying Eyes is a great option as well. Uh, Company of Heroes, and then we're using the Trint Heart. And then on the third one, we're using Orbeck. Um, obviously, I went hard on Sincero's Marsh to get him to level 50 quickly. Um, absolutely love him. Just an absolute, well, one of my favorite commanders, absolute beast. Uh, then we've got uh, Dark Summit, uh, Astral Strike, and then Flashpoint. So let's go back to Team 1, and let's just get things ready to rumble. All right, so here we go. So Team of Vanguard should go down pretty quickly. Just going to see. Let's see who's doing the most damage yet. Like, Orthan is crazy. Like, considering he's a tank and a support. Uh, well, he's a tank. You know, that's not really his role to do all this damage. But he is. He's out damaging Ravenar by quite a bit. Like, doing. Well, he was almost double her damage. Wow. Um, I think the reason we're wiped is that I did strip some gear. Okay. But you know what? It looks like we're actually going to do enough anyway. So I guess this... <laughs> wow, guys, what a way to fail. Um, yeah, Lyran, he's not that well built on the account, to be honest. Um, but wow, Orphan and Ravenar are enough to solo carry that. That's pretty insane. So um, I, I guess that's something... I, to be fair, when I play this, I don't actually watch it. So I just like, you know, just let it run. So... Learn something new every day. <laughs> okay, so um, Anpu and Jax, there's no way these two are dying. You know, hardcore carries. They should just smash through this demon. And like, yeah, Anpu, 9.8 mil. And if we look at Jax, I mean, Jax is doing... Wow, he's only like... Well, they're sort of jumping back and forth. Whoa, double the damage. But Jax is nowhere near the same level as Ampu, you know, Ampu, Ampu's immortal plus two and Jax is just mythic. So there's a big difference and there's a big difference in their gear as well. But um, yeah, both of them just getting work done. So now we're on the final boss and this is where it really counts. Um, I guess it doesn't matter that, you know, like I said, I did terrible on the first floor. I can't believe that, you know, three of our heroes just got dropped. Um, but yeah, Looking at this now, you can see like the boss is so much easier to do. He's only got three X. Um, you know, that can be way much higher. I don't even know what it can go up to. Um, but that's why it's important to do as much as you can early on. But bot mark is coming in clutch. You can see he's like our number one damage dealer. Vengus, obviously, not doing a lot of damage at all. Um, but yeah, Coraxia. Um, so sorry, Coraxia. Yeah, it's Coraxia is um still doing loads and loads of damage for us um and yeah so this is you can see this is gonna be quite an easy fight not too much to think about and i'm gonna leave it there because i don't want to waste my key um you know i want to you know do hard and novice and easy and get all, get, get all the rewards like i've been telling you guys so um yeah i'll be back in a moment guys and i'll show you each team step by step all right guys so let's look at team one we got all fan um, yeah, my favorite tank in the game right now. Um, early to mid game, he's a hardcore carry. When I get to let get, uh, when I get to late game, I'll let you guys know how good he is. See if he starts to drop off. Um, he's in a pretty crazy build. 1.2 mil HP, um, 35 accuracy, and then 45% uh, damage reduction. I've gone for triple Vigorious set. Um, so obviously getting loads of HP on him, which means that he can do loads of damage. Um, I think you could probably get away with at least 800, uh, 800k HP and probably around 30% damage reduction. But yeah, HP on the gloves, HP on the helmet, and then damage reduction on the boots. Next on the list, we got uh, Lyran, who... Not a huge fan of him. Um, maybe, I don't know, I've just got better options, but he's still okay. Uh, of course... Like with any healer, we've gone for Abundance set with Vigorious. Um, and he's got 
237k HP. That's pretty low. Um, that's probably why uh, we wiped, why he dropped, and then let everyone else die. Um, then we got um, 1.2k defense and then 11% damage reduction. Oh, those those are awful boots. That's probably, yeah, he probably needs a little bit more love from me. Um, but like I said, I'm not really using him that much right now. Uh, Carmor is further up the line. I invested way too much into this guy. Um, he is trash. Um, do not max out his exclusive like me. Um, yeah, big, big mistake. And yeah, I've robbed him of his talents because he does not deserve them. Um, so for gear, we've gone for triple heroes edge um, or heroes, sorry. And it's an okay gear set, uh, but not the best. We've got 10k attack, 27% uh, crit rate, and then 6.6 .6 crit damage. Might as well be nothing. That is basically nothing, but he's okay. He He's good enough to get the job done. Then we got um, Falva. I hate this uh, hero. I just feel like she looks so cool. Um, and I expect her to do loads of stuff for me, but she is terrible. Um, I've put she's got some pretty decent gear on her. Um, 63% crit rate, 40%, sorry, 45% crit damage, 13k attack, and she does nothing. She does not hit hard at all. Um, we've got crit rate on the gloves. Uh, attack percentage on the chest and then um, attack on the boots yeah and she she's terrible so i'm not yeah i've taken a masteries off her because she does not deserve them and again big mistake investing in her exclusive uh but yeah she is just awful 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 champion then we got raven who is god tier one of my favorite um energy aoe damage dealers she's quite not not i wouldn't say she's easy but it, you know you can get a lot of copies of her there are events for her and there's quite a few things going on so quite easy to sort of get a lot of copies of her we've got in um, a burst set which is great we get extra attack and she also gets like sort of bonuses here as well uh, we've got crit damage on the gloves should probably switch those out for crit rate to be honest for now but you know she's it's all right she's doing she's doing work for me so we've got 23, uh, sorry, 25k attack, 38% um, crit rate, and then 50% crit damage. So team team number two, we've got um, Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. And he's pretty cool. I, I'm a big fan of the dwarf, this uh, space dwarf. Um, interesting concept. And he's also looks like he's a bit of a beekeeper as well. Um, so he's in um, a Herald set. It's because I don't have that much Vigorious. So I robbed him of his Vigorious set and it went on to someone else. But he's got 477k um, HP, um, 1.5k defense, and then 4.4 damage reduction. Very, very low. Um, he definitely needs some more love. Um, but yeah, I could definitely put some better gear on him. Um, but he's okay. He's a decent, decent um, hero. Can activate his uh, weapon. Didn't see that. So yeah, let's activate his hu human to human tolerance device. I find that offensive. Um, but yeah. Oh, and the game's crashed. All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute. And we're back. Um, so let's come out of Hercules. And next on the list is Samuel. So Samuel, um, he's another weird looking hero. Like... I really like the look of him, but it's then he's like, I just, I think it's the big arms. He's like, his actual arms are locked up and then he's got these giant arms on the side of him and a sword going through his chest. Um, yeah, he looks like he needs to go to, uh, he looks like he needs an ambulance. But anyway, so let's look at the build. So we've got uh, him in a Marauders set. Um, and to be fair, he looks like he's not in the best build, like, He's got, I think one of the problems is when I built him, I got some terrible rolls on the crit rate. So I should probably swap these out for crit rate gloves because 16% is pretty low. It almost makes that 103 crit damage pointless. So I'd rather drop that by 60 and have 40 crit damage and have like an extra, you know, 40, you know, well, that'd be like 50% crit rate or something. That would make a huge difference. Um, 11k attack as well, all pretty low. 
Um, but it's probably because he's in this uh, Marauders um, set. But that will change. I, I probably will have to rebuild him at some point. No exclusive yet and no talent. So definitely will be investing in him soon. And then we can go to my favorite hero, Anpu. I mean, is he just not the coolest looking hero in any game you've ever seen? I just love him to bits. And he's pretty sick as well. So we've got him in um, four pieces of hero and then two pieces of Hawkeye. So we're getting accuracy and attack. He's got a whopping 30k attack. That is the most I have on the account. Uh, 242k HP. He needs to have HP, so he's quite tanky and got some decent survivability. Uh, 62 accuracy and then 14.4 damage reduction as well. But yeah, really, really nice gear on him. Maxed out his exclusive and talents. Of course, we've gone ham on him. Um, like I said, he's a beast. So yeah, you definitely want to invest in him and you should be able to get a decent amount of copies as well. Uh, Miranda... Um, absolutely love this support um she's farmable through i think i think it's through arena i definitely bought her in the shop i can't remember whereabouts but i think it's arena uh, you have to put her in abundant make sure she gets all that extra healing and then vigorous gear set as well um hp on the gloves hp on the helmet and then hp on the boots so 658k um hp Accuracy very, very low at 12. She'll probably swap out her helmet for some accuracy and 8.7 damage reduction. Um, probably need to get some more of that on her as well. Give her some more survivability. Only level one on the weapon. I will be upgrading that very, very soon. And got masteries as well. And then Jax, who is just insane. So he's only mythic, and this guy can do it all. He hits hard, he's tanky. Um, yeah, just the most broken hero in the game, for sure. Um, so we've got him in um, extraction set with Hawkeye. Um, yeah, just insane what he can do. So 362, 326k HP. Uh, I will learn to read one day. Uh, damage reduction 57.2% massive and then a whopping 177 accuracy as well uh, no exclusive yet and i've not put any masteries on him um so that's going to make a big difference to him as well just an absolute beast so team number three so we got vengus who is so tanky he has really really impressed me I mean, he's as good as his shield is fat. Look how fat his shield is. Um, yeah, this space, I don't know what he is, a space skeleton. He is crazy. Um, I had him with no talents. He's got talents now, but he was doing work with zero talents on him. Uh, he's okay on the exclusive. And then, um, yeah, his gear as well is pretty juicy. Um, you know, six pieces of Vigorious. Got defense on the gloves, accuracy on the helmet, and then damage reduction on the boots. 463k HP, 300, oh, sorry, 3,816 defense, 125 accuracy, and then 36% damage reduction. But yeah, he, he's just, yeah, he's a mad one. Uh, Serena. So then we've got Serena. Do not feed this champion. When I first saw her, I thought, oh, she's a basic beekeeper um, and fed her. Big, big mistake. She's a great carry. Um, yeah, and you'll, she'll be like the only carry you get early on in the game as well. So make sure to hold on to her. Again, abundant set for a healing support. And then we've got steady for some extra defense as well. I would prefer Vigorious, but, um, you know, I've only got so much on the account. Uh, 705k HP, 3.7k defense, and then 11% defense. Uh, no, sorry, damage reduction. And then we've got Botmark. So absolutely love Botmark. Um, I did break him recently. 
Um, he was originally in um, full Sun Signet to get max crit rate. Um, but I need some attack speed on him for the Disa Cave. So I've sort of broken his gear set now. But we've got 14.4k um, attack, 200 attack speed, 38% uh, crit rate, and then 58% crit damage. Originally, he did have, I think, around, I think, 55% crit rate. Um, but, you know, I need, I need that attack speed now. I did max out his exclusive, which I probably shouldn't have done. Um, but again, you know, he's a great, great hero. And I probably have gone, yeah, probably I will leave his masteries for now. I don't want to put them in. Um, yeah, not just yet. And then we're down to the last two, my guilty pleasures. Uh, Coraxia, um, who's in pretty good gear, actually, in a more another Marauder's um gear set getting that extra crit rate and um after each displacement crit damage is increased by eight percent and has 20 percent life steal for five seconds i mean that's great just getting the healing for that is huge um so we've got 17k um attack 36 percent crit rate 76 percent crit damage again i should probably swap these out for crit rate gloves um it will, it will definitely bump up the damage I've only just unlocked her exclusive as well, so definitely need to bump that up a little bit. And yeah, can do a little bit on her talents as well. And then wrong hero, not Artemis. Then we've got uh, Hemdall. And as you can see by this, uh, sh uh, what is this called? Cut uh, Cutscene. You can see that um, he was made for this boss. So Hemdall, we've got him in uh, four pieces of Agorius and two pieces Hawkeye. Uh, HP on the gloves, HP on the helmet, and then damage reduction on the boots. Uh, 415k um, HP, and then we've got 6.6k attack. Then 51% damage reduction, that's very, very nice. Um, no exclusive just yet, and just those talents so well that's pretty much the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll catch you all in a video soon peace